Alright guys. Wait, is my mic getting clicked? Okay, I'm gonna keep that in because that was funny. But this is about minions, okay? And I'm gonna give you some tips about minions and a couple money tips. Like also I'll show you what I mean in a second. But first things first. Let's start out with um, what minions are useful to have and what ones are just like don't bother like sugarcane minions you don't really need and um, sand minions is a definite not need because a golden shovel is with efficiency 5 insta breaks them like watch so that's all you need Well, that's all you need, and then, yeah. And then there's a couple of things uh, I feel like I should say. One thing is, you do not need a cobblestone minion, believe it or not. But, keep it around. Just at the beginning, keep that minion around, okay? If you keep that minion around, then um, you can go all the way up to a compactor level. Right here, compactor. You make it like that. It's a fairly simple re recipe. And it's very much needed for lots of things. For example, look at here. It makes it into blocks instead of, um, instead of just keeping it at dust. So the reason why that's good is because it helps you in the long run. Like um, these, instead of making them just coal, it makes them into coal blocks. You need those compactors. But you don't even have to do it with cobblestone. You can, oops, you can just go right here, go over here, go to the bazaar, and they're like $5,000. Right, oddities. They're like seven thousand most of the time they're five thousand dollars but a lot of times like rich people come over and spam them so it gets a little pricey but then what you want to do after that right you want to try and get a coal minion now if it the recipe you can unlock a recipe it's very good you need it it is the enchanted lava bucket you need that. And also, you can make a Wither Skeleton pet. In my opinion, Wither Skeleton pets are one of the best pets in the game because of the uh, Wither effect. So I would highly suggest trying that. Just let me go up. Okay, right? And then... And then if you want to, like... And then you want iron, if you can. Get iron minions. You know, the reason why you need iron minions, and it's because of this thing. Let's go over here to the hopper, the budget hopper. I use this mid-game, like, for emerald minions. I would make it, and then it would insta-sell whatever the emerald minion made, like, one emerald. It would sell it. And the good thing about that is you make instant money, like, very, very easy. Okay, and then after that, once you upgrade it a lot, you have to upgrade these. I'd say up to about four because then they actually are decent. Here are the things you need to do. So, first things first, when you get one. Um, ignore that. Um, this is what you have to do. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The first thing's first, after you upgrade it and you get an extra slot, what you want to do is you want to farm fishing. Here's the reason why. If you farm fishing and you get 50 raw cod, right? This took me about only like 30, 45 minutes, not that long. And, heck, you might even get a little bit more lucky than me. Right? So, that's what you do, and then you get this guy. And always make sure you at least have... 
one minion chest. I'll show you how to make those in a minute. Okay, so what you want to do here is with the minion is you want to make that first, right? Like I said, because it will give you clay. Now, a clay minion is fairly hard to get. Okay, so even with it, somebody gave me a clay minion. I traded it for like 20k. But the thing is, you have to like, um, you have to get a fishing minion if you want to get it like yourself because it just takes forever to do it like legitly if you get what i mean like um like forever to just fish it up so you need a fishing minion to at least have a shot at doing it without getting paint without trading it with somebody you need a fishing minion and then what you want to do is and then what should you do first? What should you do? Oh, what you want to do next is farm wood. You want to farm oak to be exact. The reason why is if we go to collections, right? When we go over here, you can get small storage, which gives minions an extra three stacks of storage. And if you upgrade it again using the, um, Medium storage. Let's go over here. Right here. Then you can store nine items, which is very useful. And then a large storage, you can put in 15, but it's expensive as heck. So, at least get the medium storage. That's all you really need. Just the medium storage. That's all you really need. You won't need that much if you have a compactor or if you have a super compactor 3000, which I don't. They're too expensive and I don't feel like crafting them because they're just too much work. I'm lazy. But, yeah, that's what happens. And then, once you get a clay minion, as soon as you can, get diamond spreading. Okay? Do not underestimate it. I seriously mean that. Because this... Diamond spreading has helped me out a lot. Like, I get a stack of diamond. I mean, a stack of blocks. I can never say this in the first go. I get a stack of diamond blocks. That's the grammarly correct. Right? A stack of diamond blocks. Right? But you have to do it with someone like the clay minion. Because if you don't. Do it with someone like the clay minion then well like someone who mines fast and gets a lot that's how it should work because you get it like every like you get like a tiny you don't get a tiny chance to get it but you get a chance to get it every time they break something and then mining clay is pretty simple if you get what I mean like um trying to be as clear as possible here but yeah. So you have to wait for this fishing minion to swim up about. Let's see how much. 50, um. 50 clay. Right? So once it farms up 50 clay, then you can just make yourself a clay minion. See? Simple. But the problem with clay minions is they fill up the storage really fast. That's the only problem with them. So as soon as you can, get medium storage for them. But even sooner, get medium storage for the fisherman. I have a skin on him, so if he looks a little weird, that's why. Alright. And then upgrade him to like tier 4 or 3 at least. And then, yeah. And also, make sure that you get an ice minion for um, easy money. Because, like, I get, like, $20,000 a day thanks to it. Let me, um, let me show you what I mean. Ah, oops. Um, let me see how long the jury was. 
Okay. Hub. I don't know how long this Jerry Festival is gonna be. Probably like, uh, probably like one day. But anyway. Okay, so let's go to here. Go to here, and then Enchanted Ice is worth like five hundred dollars. So I get like ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars a day. And yeah. And if you're wondering how to get ice, this is how you do it. You can go to your island, right? Here's how I did it, at least. You go over here. You fill... I filled this entire place with water source blocks. Then you get a Taiga biome stick. Okay? Once you get a Taiga biome stick, then... Another biome... What is in there? Once you get that, you can turn that... You have to click it. You have to click pretty much everywhere around it, like, and then it turns to ice. But one thing I learned is that you have to left click tw twice to get five blocks, and then you can it. It just gets a lot easier, and I did it three at a time, which took forever. So yeah, and then another minion, a cow minion. Okay, you don't understand how helpful this cow minion is, okay? Because this cow minion helps me get backpacks and everything. You're probably thinking, why don't you just grind for it? The reason why is because it's just too long and people, everybody grinds for it. Why is my wand of healing in there? You know, so it's always helpful to have a cow minion, you know? And then after this, I'll tell you what order you should get them in like specifically right now i'm just telling you what minions to get like maybe mid game around mid game another thing is a redstone minion you need these for specifically pet um xp mostly mostly pet xp you know and diamond spreading it help it does a lot with diamond spreading Alright, how much to upgrade it? 92 more, okay. And it's not good for money either, because even if I were to get an enchanted, enchanted, enchanted redstone block, it's only worth like 50k. And plus, it's really simple to get an enchanted redstone block. And plus, it's just not that good in general, because what can you craft with a redstone block? Actually... No, you do need redstone blocks for like late game, for some late or late or mid game stuff is what you should have it for. Late or mid game. Another thing is just farm nether quartz. You don't really need to um. No, not nether quartz. Um, just farm end stone. Honestly. But when once you go to the depths, like the um. Like, you know the end, um, what's it called? That, eh, uh, okay. Um, I'm trying to think of the name. The Dragon Nest, that's the one. At the end, once you go there, there's like, when you kill a bunch of the Watchers, or the, um, uh, yeah, the Watchers, they tend to drop, um, Endstone, Enchanted Endstone, and everything. So you really need that to um, progress in a lot of stuff. And if you get the enchanted end stone, then it unlocks a lot more of the recipes and the collection for it. And the reason why you'll need this is for... One second. The catalyst. Okay, you need a crystal fragment, and I have one. I, I put it up on auction. Let me go check on it. I might have just sold for 75k. They're pretty simple to get once you're a little bit later game. Has two bids and it was 86k. You see, that's how you can make a quick 86,000 coins. <laughs> you know, it's just, you do that. But any, here's how I got money early game to get most of these minions, you know? Because I, once I unlocked the bazaar. So, here's one way to farm mining, but really fast. Specifically how I did it. 
you don't have to do this, but it gives you money such in a such more easy way. You know, first I'm going to put a lot of my stuff away. And also, getting a dwarf compactor isn't worth it because what are you going to wait like 10 years and then it's going to create one? It's like it's you don't need it. Because look at this. I can't even make one bl enchanted block of iron from all of that. You know, it's just useless. Get, um, just get a super compactor 3000. It's much more worth it because, well, it's going to take him like 50 years to get one block of iron. Which, you're probably thinking that's good for the storage, but it's just... It's just useless otherwise, you know? And it's just collecting everything. And plus, you might not even have, like, big enough minion swords until you reach tier 10 to do that. So let's just collect all that. And this is how I also upgraded my furniture very easily. You just do that. Do that, do that. Right, okay. Sorry, 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 don't, don't scream. Sorry, okay. Yeah, and then... Easy money to fund these minions is this way. Again, specifically how I did it, but I'm going to go put my stuff away because I need inventory space for this. Put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Look how much diamonds I got from diamond spreading. And they're very simple to craft once you unlock the recipe. All you need is one enchanted diamond and some vines. You know? Once you get the vines, then... It's pretty much smooth sailing from there. Because, well, enchanted diamonds are very simple. Right, so you do that. Let's go. Ba pow. Ba pow. Ba pow. Ba pow. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, so here's what you do. Bring out your golden shovel with efficiency 5 and telekinesis 1, and you do that. You see, I spend a lot of my time down here, and if you are able to get a personal compactor, 4,000, then you put auto craft enchanted sand, and then you just run around like this for about an hour. I want to say a good, like, solid 15 minutes, and then you'll get about $10,000. This is what I used to fund most of my minions, was, like, just to grind some sand. You know? And then, what you want to do for the minions as well, like I said, diamond spreading, but don't use it on every single minion, Okay? Don't use it on minions like, for example, mithril minions. If you use it on mithril minions, then it's just not, it's going to get you like, uh, maybe just like 20 diamond blocks. And it's going to take up a lot of your storage because it takes forever for the mithril minions to mine mithril. And not only that, you need mithril, like for a lot of stuff. But for example, clay, what do you need clay for? nothing so if you put diamond spreading on it it just makes things a whole lot easier you know because you don't need clay for much except money or if you want to just sell it to the bazaar but yeah three enchanted things um i'm pretty sure enchanted sand sells for like 
$500 each, I'm pretty sure, which is a lot of money. I know, when you first hear it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but considering how easy it is to get it, and that's also how you grind, like, min your, like, pets, not minions, but your pets. Like, it's already at level 22. Wanna be my friend? Us, I'm new. But, yeah. That's what you do, you just keep doing that, and then... One thing I've learned is never go in a straight line, like straight straight because you sink like that and it messes up your running so you want to do it in like a diagonal way if you get what i mean if you're gonna run straight do it diagonally and then that's pretty much a, most of my tips but let's go into what order you should get them specifically okay so first you're gonna start out with a good old cobblestone minion all right you want to upgrade that to tier three and then you, and then what you want to do next is first you want to get some coal minions, right? And then you upgrade that to tier three, and I think that'll get you a new minion slot. I'm pretty sure that gets you about a new minion slot. So then you'll go wherever you want to, and then you build an an iron minion, right? Once you build an iron minion, it's just good. And then upgrade that to about tier three or tier four depends on how rich you are how far you're in the game then you wait a little bit upgrade your other minions to until you get a new minion slot then you put down a fishing minion then once you put down a fishing minion you upgrade it and then you upgrade all your other minions as well and then you'll get pretty much a new minion slot then what you want to do is make um make a clay minion then after that you wait a long time then you make an ice minion for easy money okay because if you enchanted ice is worth like five hundred dollars then after you do that and get a new slot i suggest a mithril minion i forgot to talk about them but i suggest you get a mithril minion okay because that will give you a lot of stuff you need in life. Like, um. A Mithril Golem pet. That's one pet you'll need. Okay, you do that, and then. It adds up to that. Sure, you don't get that much, I will admit, but you will need it. And then what you want to do is get a cow minion next. And then when you can, get a redstone minion. Redstone minion is always going to be last. And if you ever need to get rid of a minion because you think you found something better than what I suggested, get rid of the redstone minion. Okay, because his only purpose is really just to upgrade the minions. Okay, and the reason why you don't want to use a budget hopper on that thing is because it only sells for 50%. It only sells for 50% of the price for the ice, so don't use that. And also, compactors don't work on it, I'm pretty sure. Let me go check. Pretty sure they don't. They shouldn't. Um, you. Let me take your compactor. <laughs> Right, they shouldn't do anything. Whoa, okay, never mind. So you can use a compactor on the ice. Use a compactor on the ice minion. I did not know you could do that until this very moment. Now excuse me as I go get another compactor. Like I said, they're very incredibly dumbly cheap on the bazaar. And I mean dumbly cheap. Like, it's stupid cheap. And I'm going to make another video on how to do other neat stuff. Okay, and then Mithril, it's not worth selling. Keep it around. It'll all work out. 
And then you go to oddities. And then another thing is never buy jerry boxes. They will never work. Ever. You're hoping to get a million dollars, but it'll give you like a thousand rare drop money. You know? Kind of like the gifts. You never want to buy them. You should either just sell them or use them in hopes of a thing. And a stock of stonks isn't really worth it either. That's my opinion, though. You guys do you. And booster cookies, get them if you have enough money, like, to spare. Don't, like, waste all your money on it, because it won't give you as much money if you don't use it right. If you use it wrong, then you're going to lose, like, 20k. No, I mean a million dollars, so one million, two million. But, yeah, let's go buy a compactor. What? That's my sister. I thought she was talking to me. Alright, let's go. I can't believe a compactor works with the ice. Oh, does it turn it into packed ice? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, don't use a compactor. Here's the reason why. What do you, you don't use packed ice for anything. You can't even make enchanted packed ice with packed ice. Okay, so don't use a compactor on it. Note to self, I guess. Dang, okay. Wait, can you actually make, I don't think you can make, um, enchanted ice with it. Can you? No, you can't. There's literally no point to packed ice. Literally none. Because it gives you like $2 extra money. You don't want to get that. You want to get something else. If you can. Alright. And now. I want to talk to you about money management. Okay. This is very simple stuff for the minions. But you have to be careful. Because I was just spending. I spent like. 100k on this minion probably Because first I got it and then I just wanted to upgrade it and I spent like 50 70 100k. Oh No, 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 no go back to hub. I forgot. I have my monies And if you're like me and you're scared about your money, you're smart Okay, you're smart Okay, so like I said, money management. Let's talk about this. Don't spend all your money on upgrading your minion by like going over here and you're like, oh, a stack is only $500. Let me spam it. No, on the bazaar, it costs, once you buy more, it costs more money to buy it. So the more you spam it, the more money it costs to get the initial stack that you thought the money was worth. Okay, or you thought the iron or material you were getting was worth, right? The problem with that is, well, I did it once and it was like 800 or 900 and then I like spammed it and then I came back and it was like $1,000 and I didn't even realize I was spending like $1,000 on something that wasn't really worth it. I, I don't even have that minion anymore. It was like, um... I think it was a lapis minion. I don't really see the point of having a lapis minion then. So I replaced it with a redstone minion. Because intelligence. And another thing is, don't buy snow minions. Unless you're stupidly rich, like have 50 million dollars, maybe buy one or two. But if you can help it, don't buy them. Because one thing, you're going to be tempted... You're probably going to be tempted to sell it you know and then one thing you're probably going to be tempted to sell it but if you do buy if you just bleh, just grind in the jerry um town like the the place where there's gifts because there's a chance that you can get the snow minion there that's where you should get it and buying it off of other players for like a million dollars that's just not worth it trust me I mean, I traded my tier 1 for a raider's axe, so like, yeah.
Do I already have that? Okay, I already have that one. Yeah, also I've been grinding fairy souls. I should mention this. Fairy souls are very important. Get them as much as possible. Alright, that's pretty much sums up this video. Let's do a summary of what I said. One, make sure you get buffs for the minion when you get the minion, and then so you can put it in the minion. Two, don't be stupid and buy 10,000 stacks of whatever material because you're going to end up needing the enchanted version of it and you need to upgrade it. Three, just get as much, just don't spend all your money on a stupid um, snow minion. The only thing they're good for is upgrading your um, pet. Like my Enderman. I'm just getting him to level 100 legendary so I can sell him.